of you know, Swordfight on the Heights 4 has been made into a Builders Club only place. That doesn't really surprise me all that much, but that doesn't mean that doing such a thing didn't piss anyone off. This is just a small example of the comments people have left on the place ever since it became BC only. For the most part, needless to say, they're not really that cheerful. And who could blame them? Why would you lock off a place to the free users after all these years? What were they thinking? The answer to this question came in the form of an immature and extremely unprofessional forum post from Telemon. The post reads, 1. I can ban exploiters and get their main account. 2. I was curious how many tickets I would make. Answer, a ton. 3. I was interested in whether there would be fewer noobs in-game. Maybe. 4. It's my game, and I'll do what I want. 5. Trollalalalal. Reading through that post the first time, the only thing that crossed my mind was, what. The. Fuck. Is he really trying to be serious? That's the kind of talk I'd expect from the dark corners of the internet, like 4chan, not from a professional game developer. Trying to relate to the others or not, you just don't do that. And I especially love that last part. That's just great. What a wonderful way to make an impression on yourself as a professional. Young audience or not, you want to be a role model to your community. You want to set a good example for them. That is not a good example. If anything, that's just making a complete mockery of yourself. And that's giving us more ammunition to use against you. Not to mention, all the reasons he provided us with are nothing but a load of flat-out bullshit. 1. I can ban exploiters and get their main account. Why would you need Builders Club to do that? If you're trying to crack down on exploiters, you should be patching up all the holes in the security that people are breaching, pay attention to how they're being breached, and reading the reports when someone is reporting an exploiter! Roblox is so easily exploited that I've been able to exploit the shit out of places on a nameless account, and yet no administrative action had ever been taken against said account. I don't know why anyone wouldn't report that. What are they gonna do, just sit there in front of the computer screen and stare? Or did I just describe in that sentence what the people handling the reports do? So what you're telling me is you can watch someone exploit a place to high heaven and watch the culprit get away clean, yet you'll ban someone for posting a harmless emoticon in the chat. Clearly no one is paying attention to the abuse report feed. Anyway, moving right along. Number two is, I was curious how many tickets I would make, the answer being a ton. Are you sure you don't mean how many people buy Builders Club just so they can get into the place? Because it seems with the introduction of Builders Club only places, not to mention the overabundance of countless other Builders Club features, that was your intention all along. After all, what do you hear at the end of that half ass Roblox commercial you made? It's free. Bullshit, it's free! Having to pay for premium membership just so you can get into certain places is not free. That's like saying Team Fortress 2 is free, but if you want to play in online servers, you have to pay for monthly premium membership. Yeah, I know I mentioned Team Fortress 2 a lot in my videos, but for this situation in particular, I can think of no better example. You can play on any fucking server you want and enjoy most, if not all, of the game without having to buy anything. If you want to upgrade to premium, just head over to the Manco store and buy a sticky jumper or whatever, and then BAM! One purchase and you're premium. And you don't even have to do that, you can still get different weapons through the random drop. You only get 30 slots, but you don't need hats or other cosmetic accessories to play. Keep the weapons you like to use, get rid of the ones you don't, and you're golden. Don't like having so few slots? Want to use the trade system? That can all be yours for a one-time payment of as little as 49 cents. Now, I'm not trying to sound like an advertiser, but think about what you have to do to get premium benefits for Roblox. You buy Builders Club for a monthly fee of 6 bucks, or some other deal where you get more for a little less, and once it runs out, you're stripped of all those benefits. So what do you do? Buy more Builders Club and wait for it to run out again. No matter how you slice it, Roblox wins. You pay to sell items, you pay to make shirts and pants, you pay to make badges, you pay to get into certain places, the whole game might as well be pay to play. Because that's exactly the direction it's heading in right now. Reason number three is, I was interested in whether there would be fewer noobs in game. Maybe. Uh, no, not really. Instead, we'll just have the snooty quote-unquote rich kids who think they're so much better because they have premium membership, when in reality, all they're doing is bending over backwards and kissing Telemon's big fat fucking asshole. Now before you Builders Club members start ripping me a new asshole, think about everything I just had to say about premium benefits a minute ago. 
Whether you know it or not, what I just said is nothing more than the sad truth as far as I'm concerned. Just like Neo being pulled out of the Matrix, the truth ain't pretty. The snooty rich kids part was just a massive, massive generalization. If you're not one of those people, don't be offended. If you are, by all means, be offended. We saved the best for last, probably the stupidest reason he provided. Reason number four. It's my game, and I'll do what I want. Did he really say that? Never in my life did I think anyone as professional, or allegedly so, as him, would sink so low. That's so grammar school. That's unprofessional, immature, and above all, flat out stupid. In essence, he says he's gonna make you pay to play his game because he feels like it. That probably wouldn't bother me so much if the reason he provided didn't have to do with actually paying money. Real money, not the fake-ass Roblox money. And before you go calling me out as a hypocrite, because I know I've used that excuse before, do I ever make you pay to watch my videos? The only time that excuse should be used is to reinforce your authority over your own work, like in the sense of how it's done. That's fine. But not to the extent of all of a sudden having a pay-to-play basis. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't use that excuse. I use it myself a couple times. It's an extremely difficult argument to discuss. Without completely overturning the meaning of it, I'll leave it at, it should only be taken so far. Telamon took it too far. This is the reason I play Team Fortress 2 and Minecraft. Roblox has taken things way, way too far. They're trying to find every possible way of sucking our wallets dry. At least with the Manco store in TF2, it's generally a worthwhile expense because you'll always have what you bought, unless you trade it away or whatever. Minecraft has no premium membership. Once you buy it, you have everything at your disposal. To quote my last video, Roblox is enticing, if not forcing us, to buy Builders Club. I realize Roblox is trying to make money. I understand that. That's how a company works. But as has been demonstrated countless times before, there are more honest and effective ways of achieving that goal. And they think we're just going to stand idly by and take it. I don't think so. We need to make our voices heard. Contact Roblox and tell them we've had enough. Hell, even send them a link to this video if you want. If I get banned for demonstrating my right to free speech, watch me either not give a shit, or just sue their ass for shits and giggles. Even if I don't get anything out of it, we need to make our message heard. They cannot possibly hope to silence thousands, if not tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of people who do not support the changes. I'm not trying to start a riot against Roblox. I'm asking for change. And you can help. Make your voice heard, as I have mine. We need to stand together and tell Roblox we've had enough of this nonsense.